start today and Japan's already bustling. It's about 12. We got up at about half past six to go to Super Mario World and Universal Studios. Hopefully. Hopefully. So we're running to the Jaws bit. Because apparently from what I said online, it's pure. The ticket machine's across the way from there where you can get your area time ticket to Super Mario World. Otherwise, if you don't have your area time ticket, you won't get to Super Mario World. I'm trying on the app, so let me on the app. Gradually, this, the park, shouldn't be open for the <laughs> hour, but they've been letting people in since like seven. <laughs> We're in. I think they just start letting people in and set it going. Good thing. Oh, it's fed up. Oh, you know them, So these are the little ticket machines for Super Mario World. This is a little tip. In fact, no, I'll tell you now when we've got them. So, <laughs> oh, that's one. Oh, they're near at the time. I've been on this ride and I was like eight in Florida Universal. So let's see, let's compare. <laughs> So to get your area time ticket, you need to head straight for the Jaws ride that, where the big shark is. Across the way from that, there's a path. Look all the way down that path, and at the end, there's ticketing booths. We'll give you a watch we'll rundown, you. yeah. Yeah, we'll show you properly. We're just in the queue for the Spider-Man at the minute. <laughs> well, we, like, ran here straight well, after. Um, I've tried on the app, cannot get on on the app whatsoever. The park still is not officially open for another half an hour, so whether them tickets were available at nine o'clock or not, I'm not sure. Um, but your best bet is literally, as soon as you get in here, head straight for that, them ticketing points. If you ask a staff member, they will direct you. And then, yeah, you'll just literally scan your tickets, figure out what many you want, what time. We got in at half three, so like we're already dead late on in the day. Uh, already dead late on the yep. day, and the park's not even officially opened yet, so that's how quickly it fills up. Uh, but yeah, we're in at half three, and we're literally far away. So that was amazing. I had quite literally the biggest grin on my face the entire time. And it settles it now. I'm going to take him to the Florida Universal because he will love it. Yeah, because that was all in Japanese. <laughs> it was spot on to the one that I did like a couple of years back, though. But it was in Japanese. <laughs> Uh, um, but what is quite cool is, uh, well, they love Spider-Man here in Japan. Uh, there was a series that came out in like the 50s of Japanese Spider-Man that directly influenced Power Rangers. It was pretty much, was pretty much Power Rangers but Spider-Man. So we've just done the Flying Dragon. We waited about two hours, but it was really good. Um, we tried to get there first, just because obviously it's like three hours, three and a half hours now, I think the queue is. We're now in the Jurassic ride, which again, I did in Universal in Florida. So let's see if it's the same. Although there's a lot of talking in it, and we probably won't be able to understand it this time, so I bet it'll be a Japanese again, but hey ho. We've also just reached 100,000 views on YouTube, which is absolutely amazing. So if you're watching this, thank you so much. Um, we literally just make these videos on the side, really, <laughs> uh, just to show our travels. Yeah. And hopefully we can help you along the way travel as well. Um, thank you to the Filipinos as well, for giving us loads of love and support on our recent video. Big love to the Filipino. We love the Philippines a lot, so we'll be back there yeah. very soon. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah. One of my other friends who we literally only met on a day trip in the Philippines was asking me when we're coming back. She saw that we were traveling in Asia again. She was like, you're going back to the Philippines. I was like, not this time. But we will be back, I promise. This time hasn't taken an hour and a half. Maybe an hour by the end of it, a bit left. It's a lot quicker. We are... <laughs> <laughs> Not in a minute, you ready? Whoa! Oh, that was a big one. That blew wide out. That was a big one. We've just queued an hour for Ooh. two hot dogs. That's what we're getting. Big queue. The parade's nearly about to happen. Yeah. Uh, Cheap hot dog. It costs a lot of time though.
waiting for the parade. Ten minutes late. We haven't got time for this. <laughs> yeah, to get your timed entry ticket for Super Mario Bros, you need to come to these little green ticket booths. Um, you can find them if you go opposite the big hung up jaws shark. There's a path. There's a path. Also, it's sort of, if you come and find the old sort of 70s diner, it's the big gates near the old 70s diner with all the old cars. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure how to describe it. I'll put a little map up. It is tucked you. away, and there's, there's like one sign there that's just outside of it. You have to get here like ASAP to be able to get one because now they're not doing the ticket. Yeah. Like, oh, is it like half seven this morning? Oh, I think I've actually. This morning. You basically, if you come into the park and head on, I think it's the first ride, I'll put a little map up yeah. for you. The easiest way is head to the shop, cut down this road, and then it's on, on your right. Or opposite the 70s diner, you'll see it there as well. Yeah. It's in this little park. It's that like route. Rock's Ridge there. Yeah. But that is the only way we managed to get tickets because the app was not having any of it. No. <laughs> and if you've not brought, because you can get like the express pass to come in here, but they're at 150 pound extra. I just thought it's a lot when you can get it for free. So yeah, we just, we were literally here two hours before the park even opened. Thankfully they're letting people in and we just ran straight here for the first thing we did. Yeah. And then got our tickets for half three, which like I said, still later on in the day. So it's not, but there wasn't that many slots left even no. at that point. They do fill up fast. Okay. We made it, and uh, we got a band. £25, uh, which was half the price of what we've heard it is. Yeah, we thought it was 40 but it could be that I heard that for the EY in America. Um, so basically, you don't need to have a band, but it's better if you do, because you go around and you play interact games and, and interact with things. Um, obviously, like it is expensive, but I don't think £25 is too bad. You get to like obviously keep it forever, so if you ever come back. <laughs> And you can use it in the other parks as well. Yeah. For 25 quid, we could not give it a go. Luigi. Luigi. So that flying dinosaur roller coaster is actually the second longest roller coaster in the world. Uh, it was beaten by another roller coaster. Beaten by another roller coaster, which was built in 2020, which must be a difficult time to open a park. And then they go to shop through there. I haven't played many games in my life, but I have played this one quite a few times. <laughs> Wow. 
whilst there is loads to do, you can't do it all in one day. No. So we're not cutting our time short here, but we need, we need now to go to Hogwarts. So <laughs> we've done Jurassic Park here in Hogwarts all in a Wednesday. Yeah. Time here's at an end. I know, we've spent all day here and we still haven't done like everything. We've hardly done anything here. We didn't take any notice of all these themed shops on the way in because we were just like making a beeline for that ticket for Super yeah, Mario yeah. World. But there's some really cute little cafes around here. 